Squatch, squatch, show me where you at, your motivation guys back. Listen, I am your number one fan. I'm never gonna give that up, so keep going. Hey, stay positive, keep your mind focused. Focus is everything. Stay focused on your goals, stay focused on your expectations because you can do it, but you gotta believe it. Hey man, welcome back to another Pro Guys video. Your boy Keith Allen is back, and uh, you know, Fortnite is back as well, and better and funner this summer, right? Mushrooms and good vibes are all full with it as well. With the IO defeated, it's time to celebrate, guys. I'm really sorry, Star Wars fans. Looks like there's not gonna be an Empire invasion just yet, but hey, I mean, at least Clombos are back, right? In the meantime, you're probably wondering what are the best landing spots of the season? Well, we got an updated list for you guys, and honestly, this season is just ripe with good spots. So, let's get down to it, but before we do, it's time to sit back, relax, and get some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. Yo, and let's get this going. All right, family, let's start off strong with Rave Cave. With the IO booted off the island, Command Cavern once again belongs to the Loopers. So what do you do with this strategic point? How about turning it into the world's largest rave site? Rave Cave comes complete with dance floor, as well as a roller coaster themed after Cuddle Team Leader. While season three might not be as jam packed with action, locations like these help really make it shine. All right, so what's so good about this POI and really makes it a good landing spot? Good question. I mean, well, I mean, it's definitely busy, which means there's plenty of players fighting it out down below. Good thing. But it does have something that makes it all worthwhile as well. For starters, this is one of the locations, man, that you can drop to easily grab the new vehicle. Not only that, I mean, it just seems to be a great place to rotate in whichever direction you're going. That's right, man. Slipstreams are back. You know, we first saw these tunnels back when Neil Tilted was added to the map. And after a while, we saw them once more during Season 8's Cube event last chapter. You know, fallen UFOs created perfect tunnels for us to really make quick escapes and move around the map easier. This time, we get one huge slipstream surrounding Rave Cave, allowing you to get that quick escape or scan the area for enemies. Rave Cave is also a good landing spot simply because, I mean, it contains the ballers. These vehicles are the absolute best. And if you guys love the Spider-Man Mythics back in season one, then you're gonna love what these things can do. You can use them as a vehicle to use around the coaster, or you can just grapple around the map to just quickly get from one place to the next. Just be careful, these run on charges. So if you're out on the map, and you run out of juice, you just can't gas it up again. So seeing as the Rave Cave is not just a big POI, but a tall one as well, okay, where should you land exactly? Well, if you guys can manage it, try to get in through the Cuddle Team Leader head at the very peak. There are some good farming spots for mats here, but also some slurp barrels and chests to really get you going. It also has plenty of options if you guys want to hit and run. You know, there are ballers here, and if you need to just make a quick escape or just someone else manages to beat you to the landing, I mean, you can always just hop in a baller and go. You know, with so many new options, there's just plenty of things to keep up with. So why not click on the link below and visit ProGuys.com. There you can learn some amazing tips from our pro-level coaches who are here to help you guys become the best that you can be. Learn drop spots, manage your loot, and perfect your fighting strategies. It's all here at ProGuys. All right, guys, so next on our list is something for those of you who want a more covert landing. All right, so you're not going to find it named on the map, but it's still a fantastic spot to drop and gear up. All right, if you look at your map, go down the greasy groove, and just below to the left of the POI are three buildings tucked away in the bottom left corner of the map. This is the spot we're going to be looking at, and honestly, man, it has pretty much everything. Not only is it surrounded by trees, making it a good place to harvest mats, but the environmental benefits of it being in the mushroom biome is going to help you guys get off the early game ready to fight. All right, as you may have noticed, the mushroom biome is filled with glowing blue mushrooms all over and if you guys land on a glowing mushroom when it shines i mean your shield is going to slowly replenish itself by landing here and i mean like right here you can immediately start looting and collecting mats while you're making rounds jump on the mushrooms to fill up and just deal with any opponents that may have shown up here luckily there isn't as much traffic on this spot so you should be able to have it all to yourself most of the time all right and if these benefits weren't enough you can also find a bounty board here so if you ever see yourself running low on gold and you want to have some more gold going forward, just make sure to interact with it on the way out. Never hurt to really start a bounty. Once you're done at these barns, you can just head over to Greasy for a vehicle and just start your mid-game routine. All right, so once more, we're gonna turn our heads towards the mushroom biome. All right, so one of the most popular places to land right now is the reality tree. I mean, it has an abundance of fish, you know, geysers and tunnels filled with loot. But while this POI does sound pretty sweet, the best landing spot is actually going to be the gas station just across the street. All right, let me explain. Aside from the tree itself, there are two locations you need to keep an eye on. These are the manor right next to the tree and the gas station. The goal here is to get yourself ready to start third partying your opponents. And so with the tree getting so much traffic, it's only natural for you to get right in the fight. However, you wanna make sure that you don't get killed right off spawn. This is why you land a gas station, right? It's far enough away for you to land most 
mostly uncontested, but it's close enough so you can just gear up quickly and just start getting those third party eliminations. So if you do this correctly, you can start racking up points in arena and start off strong, especially during those earlier divisions where you don't have to pay bus fare. All right guys, so now for the question of the day. You guys ready for this? What are some of the new locations you've discovered works best for you during the season? It could be a name POI or just somewhere more discreet on the map. Just leave your answers down below. The seven have had their impact on the narrative of the story of this chapter. I mean, not only that, but they've also have influences, you know, over some of the POI that were included prior to season three. It's still safe to say that even in season three, seven bases are still very solid landing spots that can change how your early game goes. For this next landing spot, guys, we're going to be focusing on one particular seven base and all the different ways that you can tackle it. The seven base we're going to be talking about is just to the left of Rave Cave. So you'll spot it in the half snow, half grass patch of land by the stream. As expected, the seven vault is a feature here and if you have had a chicken animal or you know second player to bring with you you can just access the vault for some better than average loot not only that like you could have rifts that can help you guys easily rotate out of here the reason this seven base is so good during the season is because it just so happens to be near the slipstreams you know settling a poi that was already good becomes amazing so now you can land on this base directly and just take advantage of everything it has to offer but you don't need to necessarily land directly on it like in fact there is another Another alternative spot that you can land if you want a less contested experience. You may have noticed a zip line that connects you to the other side of the river. On the other side is a lone house in the mushroom biome where you can just land if you see someone else get to the base first. From there, you can loop the house and just zip line over to the base once you're done. Another notable seven base is just above Long Jam Lubber Yard near the corner of the map. Once again, the same principle applies and you can just use the rifts to gain easy access to the slipstream. So the only real difference is the POI that you can access right away if you choose to rotate out of there. All right, so with the IO banished and the Collider destroyed, Loot Lake has seen itself get an expansion with water flooding the remaining space. Now, this is a great way for just rotating and looting. All right, so let's just start with the landing. All right, Loot Lake has plenty of spots to land and many of them are gonna provide you with a bouncer to immediately cover long distances quickly. But if you guys wanna start the game with a huge shield boost, consider just landing in the peninsula south of the globe. There you're gonna find some chests, non boxes, and coolers, but don't use those chug splashes just yet, all right? There is a chug truck just below the surface of the water near the docks and you can destroy it to get some shield. You can either smack it with your pickaxe or just take the easy route and use your rockets when you sell the boat. You know, one strategy that you can use to make looting go faster is to launch rockets wherever you see a chest. I mean, this is going to eliminate the need of going there personally and holding a key down. Now you can just inspect the loot from afar and pick only what you need. And so once you're done looting chests, be sure to check out the fishing spots because with this expanded body of water comes many opportunities to get some of the best healing items for competitive once you're done, grab a vehicle or use the launch pads to get out of there. All right, before we wrap things up for today, don't forget to check out ProGuys.com for some pro-level coaching. Bunch of girls, Tommy, where you at? Your motivation, guys, back. I am so proud of you. I just want to let you know. Keep your head up. Stay positive. Keep your spirits lifted. Listen, this could be the best season of your life. Just put the grind in, man. Keep going. Don't listen to haters. Don't listen to negative things. And uh, hey, just keep your goals in place and go after it. Connect with my Instagram at your motivation guy. Also, remember, learn your drop spots inside and out, all right? Like, if you know where everything spawns and, you know, the options you have for rotation, you're going to have a much easier time just getting ahead of everybody else, all right? So keep going. Subscribe to the channel and spread the word about what we got going on here. I'll see you soon. Peace.